I'm here with Tom and Bray. We're outside Turf Moor. Manchester United won. Burnley nil. It was tight towards the end. Bray, how are you feeling after that one? All right, me. Um, it's good to get good to get a decent away win for once. Um, nah, I thought I thought they played quite well in the first half, Burnley. I thought we we were struggling a little bit with the pace because they're a fit side. They get about a lot of the pitch and they move it and they're physical. So you must have given them a rocket at half time because they come out flying in the second half. Like again, no, we don't kill teams off. We don't kill teams off properly. Like. How many chances where Pogba's gone in 1v1, he's got to slip it either side, Lukaku or Martial, and he doesn't score. Like, but you take the three points all day, it's a great finish. Um, and obviously Burnley don't, these games always end 1-0, 2-1. They're a good side this year, aren't they? They don't concede many goals um, and they don't score many goals either. They get a lot of 1-0s, 2-1s and stuff like that. So you take the three points, obviously Chelsea's winning today. Arsenal won again, big big wins for those two, but heavy score lines as well. You presume City are going to smash Newcastle, so you know that we need it. We need the 1-0. But I'll take it. Oh, there you take it and move on oh, to the next week. Come to Tom. Tom, you argue with Burnley fans there about what? Cheat, did you say? Apparently, every single Burnley fan that's walked past me said we cheated. Someone said Mourinho jumps on the pitch or something. Um, something about City? Oh, every, <laughs> City, um, we're away from the line like, a bit with them, no, but. Um, nah, it was, it was a good performance today, and it's just after the Chelsea result uh, and the players knowing that City play tonight in about 10 minutes, something like that. Uh, and we need to put the pressure on them, you know, it's nine points at the minute. If Newcastle can get summer off him, I mean, ten points, I still think it's in, not impossible, but it's hard. And we just need little glimpses and performances like these. You say they're performances that win your leagues, they're performances that can try and keep up with City. That's some very good away wins like that, Everton, Watford, Arsenal. Getting, that's what I mean. We had a little patch, didn't we, after the Arsenal game where we lost, we lost our momentum a little bit. We, dropped a couple of bad results, these at home, Southampton at home, uh, Leicester City away draw, so we lost our momentum and we picked it back up into the new year. But you've got to say, at the end there, when they're throwing the kitchen sink at you, the boys dealt with it. They stood up and counted. Phil Jones was perfect. Phil Jones, I thought, was unbelievable. In times, he saved small. Has he saved his career this season? Uh, you know? Yeah, massively. You, you look at like Jones and Shaw and Young have got deals out of this season. They're basically putting performances that are going to get them contracts. And Ashley Young just loves it, doesn't he? He just loves a good wind up right at the end. Were you surprised to see Ashley Young start today? I thought he'd start him, but I didn't think he'd start. I thought he'd start him maybe in front of Shaw and maybe just give us a little bit of on that right hand side because they, they do play quite well. Um, but no, like I say, I've got no qualms about the performance. We were a little bit shaky in patches, but it's to be expected. I know what I mean, the lads have had a long Christmas and stuff like that. And so I thought we'd back us. I thought we'd back us to win the game. Cheers, lads.